what's going on, guys? This is pretty much what everyone has been waiting for. Savannah Soto. What happened? Who's involved? Who are these person of interest? What did the police say? What did her family members say? We're going to get involved. I don't want to do a lot of talking. I just want to get straight to the videos. I want to get straight to the articles. I want to read it so we can better understand the situation. Because what happened to her, even her boyfriend, which people assume he's part of it or not, we, we don't know just yet. We don't know. And I don't want to assume. This is a messed up situation. This is Savannah Soto right here. And this is Matthew Guerrero, is, her name? is his name? Excuse me. That's her boyfriend. And I, the, what I have for you today is it's, it's wild. I got many articles. I have many, many, many videos from different sources so we can kind of get the story, put it together. But I also have the two person of interest but additionally, I have, I have the video of them, of the officers finding Savannah and Matthew, excuse me. And I just want to get involved. I want to, I want to jump straight to this and see what we can find. This is, this is a really messed up situation. Tanya said, thank you for putting this out there. Tanya, you're welcome. All right, let's get, let's get I just want to go straight to it, All right? Uh, let's go. So we know this is Matthew. This is her boyfriend. This is Savannah. And I'm just going to go through the article really rough so we can watch the videos, okay? I'm sorry for these ads. It's just not, I can't do really, hold on. Can't really do nothing about the ad, can I? Yes, I can. Cops investigated a possible murder of pregnant teen Savannah Soto and her boyfriend released video of persons of interest. Now, I, I, I like to be specific here. Persons of interest. One is seen driving in a pickup truck and another drove the Kia. Victims were found dead in. Okay. Wait. Truck as another drove the... The Kia's victims were found dead in. Okay. Savannah Soto, 18, went missing when she was due to give birth to a baby boy. She and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerrero, 22, found dead in his car in San Antonio. Cops have now released chilling surveillance footage of persons of interest. Before I continue, you guys, do me a big, big favor. I need you guys to really hit that share button. Thank you guys for saying bless me. Thank you. We already got four shares. Let's get those, let's get those shares up. Let's really, really get those shares up. Everybody hit that share button. Hit that like. It means a lot. I want to get this out there. This is somebody's baby girl. This is somebody's son. I want to get involved. I want to get the facts. Nice. Hit that like. It uh, let's, let's do it. Let's continue, okay? Thank you for sharing. I appreciate you guys very much. Texas investigators have released chilling footage of the person of interest in the shooting uh, deaths of pregnant teenager Savannah Soto, 18, and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerrero, 22. The couple were found 22, um, excuse me, the couple were found dead in his car and bullet wounds on their heads on Tuesday, with Soto last seen at her apartment on Saturday when she was supposed to be uh, induced into labor. It's crazy. Bullet wounds in their heads. Cops have now released eerie footage from an area near to where the slain couple were found, showing one person driving a dark pickup truck and another driving a silver Kia Optima belonging to Guerrera. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus added that investigators do not currently believe that the tragedy was a murder-suicide, as was initially speculated. Suicide. So this is the video. I'm not going to show it now because it's kind of, I, I got a video already. And this is the couple, as you can see. That's Matthew Guerrero on the left. That's Savannah Soto on the right.
Savannah Soto, 18, disappeared last Saturday when she was supposed to be induced into labor and was found dead on Tuesday, along with Matthew. Their bodies sat in the car for three or four days until they were discovered. Police said Soto's unborn baby did not survive. McManus said the scene was complex and very perplexing, and the case is being investigated as a possible murder. The police chief re uh, released the latest footage at a press conference on Thursday afternoon and said it shows two people are currently being sought by law enforcement in connections to the eerie deaths. One of the person of interest can be seen getting out of the dark pickup truck, which had a bed cover, and approaching the driver's side of Guerrero's Kia Optima. A second person that quickly follows and leaves the driver's seats of, Ki of the Kia who Magnus said was definitely not Guerrero. The chief declined to confirm whether Soto or Guerrero were already dead when the video was taken, but added clearly it was a heinous act. Earlier on Thursday, before the footage was released, an autopsy officially ruled Soto's death to be a homicide. She died from a gunshot wound to the head, while Guerrero died from a, from a contact gunshot wound to the head, meaning the gun's muzzle was pressed directly against his head when it was fired. Wow. That's, that's actually, that's crazy. Wow. That's, wow. This, none of this is important. They're just radiating what I said. They don't believe it's a suicide. Let's actually hear this. Hold on, guys. Let me see. Usually an ad pops up. But yeah, see, an ad pops up. We're not... We're not going to watch these ads. So right now, uh, I believe this is the uh, press conference. So we're going to watch this. Uh, this is pretty messed up. Are you live on YouTube? I couldn't go live on YouTube. It, it wasn't li It's not YouTube problems. It's Facebook problems. Mostly Facebook problems. Uh, but no, not on YouTube. Not today. Tomorrow, yes. Uh, thank you guys. for. We got 100 people watching on Facebook, guys. Only 14 people shared. Guys, this means a lot if you just hit the share button. It takes less than one second. It's the arrow at the bottom right. Or, cl or click the three dots. You see an arrow. Share it to your group. Share it to your personal page. That helps a lot. Write a title. Be like, you guys need to see this. Share it to a friend and messenger. Do all three. That would, that would be amazing. But most importantly, I want you to tag one person. Just one. Or two. Tag your sister, your mother, your best friend be like, yo, this is what happened. Because I'm, I'm finding all the facts. And what I found out today, watch. On the 26th at about 4 o'clock, SAPD was called to assist Leon Valley PD at 5903 um, Danny K. Leon Valley was uh, requesting assistance. Families of both victims were at the location and reported Leon Valley PD that earlier in the day, they received information that the missing gray Kia Optima was at the Danny K address. When police arrived, they discovered two people in the Kia. Uh, EMS was called to the scene and they pronounced both victims at the scene. It appeared that the vehicle had been located in, in, at that location for several days. The medical examiner had identified 22-year-old Matthew as one of the deceased victims in the vehicle, and he died from a gunshot wound to the head. The manner of that death is still pending. The second deceased victim has not yet been officially identified by the, by the medical examiner. However, I think we can be confident that that second victim was Savannah. This case is being investigated as a capital murder case. We have a video here that we're going to share with you. We have already put it out on social media. You may have already seen it, but we're going to run this video here today. Uh, we are hoping that uh, someone is able to identify the individuals. Detectives uh, are hopeful that surveillance video will lead to the events leading up to their death. There's a pastor here. The audio is low. Um, Sorry, I don't know. It's pastor, not me. It's that video. Pastor, if you need prayer... You need to be able to understand or just get.
Oh, come on. I can't play that on this Facebook. They released the dubs. Appreciate everything and anything that y'all are doing for us. We just got to keep her in our hearts and remember the way she was. That's what you just said. Mm -hmm. You just said, thank you for... Um... Her answers and her kind of closure. Um, my friend here with the green card giving me information. Okay, this is really low. And I'm going to... Okay, so I'm not... Uh, you guys are not going to be able to hear it. It's really low. So I'm going to continue with other videos, okay? Their bodies sat in the car for three to four days until um, they were discovered, police said. In an attempt to, pe uh, to piece together the shooting, McManus has said investigators are, are pouring over surveillance videos from the area. Okay, now, I do have the video of Savannah. Monica with the 500 stars. Oh my gosh, Monica, thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you, Monica. I appreciate that. Teresa with the 100. Oh, my gosh. You guys are incredible. Shout outs to Teresa M. Lord and Monica for the 500 stars. Thank you so much. Um, what I'm going to do is I do have the video of Matthew and Savannah in the car, deceased. But I'm not going to. I haven't seen it to show it, but I'm just going to like put it. Uh, but I don't think it shows shows them. It's not going to show that. It's too graphic, and I wouldn't even show that. I have respect also. But if I find anything else, I'm going to put it in the supporters group with the group. You know, If you're not a supporter, join now. Hit the green badge. Join the family. You get special selective content directly to your Facebook feed. Directly. And you also get a notification. You get content like that if you join the, the supporters family. Shout out to the green badges in the chat. All right. Guerrero's Kia Optima was found in the car parked on Danny Kane Drive in Asonia, San Antonio after witness message Soto's sister-in-law. Okay, okay. Uh, was still saw Soto, uh, saw Soto in the front passenger seat and Guerrero in the back. Wait, Guerrero was in the back? Wait, what? Soto's sister-in-law, Joni Was Wasel. She glanced at Soto's face and didn't want to see any more. Why would Guerrera? Why would Guerrera be in the back? Why would wait wait hold on chat why would why would he be in the back I got to see that video we're going to watch that surveillance video you guys want to see that video as well as the additional video that's that's strange why why would uh in the back with pants down I don't know if that's confirmed he had his pants down I'm not too sure There was someone else driving the car, not the boyfriend. Could it possibly be that someone had them hostage in some type of way like that? This is weird. Soto took out a restraining order against Guerrero a year ago after he beat her on Christmas Day 2022. What? What is going on? What is, wait, what? And was charged with assault. What? When was, what? Okay. You are prohibited from intentionally knowing a or recklessly communicating with Savannah Soto, whether it be by phone, in writing, or in person, in a harmful or in, uh, injurious manner. Court record states, Mariana Delgado, who claims to be the deceased teenager's sister-in-law, posted a video of Soto's body has been found early this evening and that she was in bad, bad condition. Matthew Guerrero, 22, picture in 20... In jail, booking of the photo of 2022. 
if anyone know my son, Matthew Guerrero, he and his girlfriend, pregnant girlfriend are missing. I know my son and he wouldn't do anything to hurt her. She is due to have her baby, her baby, her things were left behind that she packed for the hospital, including her purse. The neighbors said they heard Savannah screaming for help. And the next morning, they said, saw them get into a Cadillac. My son's phone said the call is unavailable and their car is not at their apartment. As a mother, I know my son and his girlfriend were taken against their will because my son does what he does for money. He is not an abusive boyfriend. It's envy of those who hate on others who don't need to know any What? That have something to do with my son and his girlfriend missing. Her story actually makes sense because he was in the back of the car. Someone else was... Wait a minute, hold on. The neighbors said they heard Savannah screaming for help. And the next morning they said saw them get into a Cadillac. But they have a Kia. My son's phone said the caller is unavailable and their car is not at their apartment. Lori Beth on Facebook said, they said someone else put out a driver's seat and it wasn't him. This is freaking crazy. Someone posted a close-up of the big guy getting out of the truck. I have that already. Yeah, I have that already. Okay, let's, let, let's get into some videos. I created a timeline for you guys, starting from three days ago till now. All right. Hit that like, hit that share, everybody. I got Wendy Little with the 145 stars. Wendy, thank you very much. Thank you. Shout out to everyone who sent stars. Big shout out. Thank you for supporting the podcast. We really appreciate you. Let's get involved. Dry eye at this northwest side apartment complex. It's a Merry Christmas, but it's not too merry for us right now. Emotions are raw as several look in the direction of Savannah Soto's apartment. Everyone here, including her grandmother, Rachel, hoping for any clue on her location. We're entitled to know something about her. We love her, we miss her, whatever's going on. Let her come home so we can have a Merry Christmas with her. Family says the 18-year-old mother-to-be hasn't been heard from since Friday, the day before she was set to be induced. I just need to know that she's okay. Savannah's mother, Gloria Cordova, put out a desperate plea for information about her daughter and filed a police report with Leon Valley over the weekend. Cordova says since last speaking to her daughter, there's been no contact with Savannah. I just want her home. I'm worried about the baby. If she's even had the baby. Gloria says she believes Savannah is in trouble. There's no reason why she would just get up and go off and do that. Especially in light of her 15-year-old brother, Ethan, being killed. Guys, if you had any information on this case, you let me know ASAP. Ortiz, thank you for the 11 stars. Last year. She knows what it, we, I went through. My with DMs people. are open. My DMs are open. Hello, Becky. Ashley, hello, Ashley Lynn. How are you? I want to give a big shout out to everyone who hit that share button. Whoever hit that share button, like Holly, Michael, Suzanne Morrow, Monica, uh, Elaine. You, thank you, guys. I appreciate you. And I know she doesn't want me to go through this again. I hope everyone here to look for Savannah has. To God hear my prayers and bring my granddaughter and my great-grandson back home. That's what we want. Thanks for watching. Next video, we're catching up to date, guys. We went from three days ago updates and leading to literally seven hours ago of a new update. Let's keep getting involved. Complex on the city's northwest side. So this is where police found the bodies of two people. This is Danny K Drive. It's near Babcock Road. Investigators believe that the two bodies found are 18-year-old Savannah Soto, who was last seen Friday, and her boyfriend, who the family says is Matthew Guerra. John Paul Barajas was at the scene when investigators found the bodies, and he spoke with the woman's family. San Antonio police officers swarmed this apartment complex on the 5900 block of Danny K Drive. Believing they found the bodies of a soon-to-be mom, 18-year-old Savannah Soto, and her boyfriend, who family says is Matthew Guerra. We were supposed to celebrate Christmas with her and the baby. Um, all she wanted, all she wanted was that baby. I think she was meant to be a mom. Soto's sister-in-law, Joanny Wasil, says when Soto missed her appointment to be induced Saturday, they knew something was wrong. Authorities issued a missing persons alert Monday. Wasil explains a tip through Facebook led them to this great Kia. Adorable. So, uh... 
So this is the video that I have also. This this is messed up, man. I think they're in the car here if I if I'm if I'm correct. A confusing so difficult. That confusion and emotions boiled over at times as families of both Soto and Guerra waited for word from authorities. <laughs> When police chief William McManus did speak, not much clarity was given. It was a very, very perplexing crime scene. And detectives right now are looking at this as a possible murder. And, uh, but we don't know for sure. He adds they think the bodies are Sotos and her boyfriends, but that he wouldn't confirm that until the medical examiner did. Although families on both sides were notified. That they were shot, I'm not sure where. I did see blood in the car when I, when they opened it. The chief also didn't mention a suspect, any type of murder-suicide situation, or if there was a weapon in the car. Well, still tells us now all her family wants is answers while well, they try to move forward. Grieve to organize the funeral of two, um, Vanna and the baby. John Paul Barajas, KSAT, 12 News. Just a tragic story. And she it's a is so beautiful. This is, and a baby, who shoots a pregnant girl? A pregnant girl. Story that continues ah. to bring new developments. Savannah Soto, she's actually the second child that her mother, Gloria Cordova, lost in the past year and a half. Savannah's younger brother was killed last year. Case that has learned Savannah's family was behind a courtroom brawl involved his suspected killer. Captured on this video from pa this past October. That's what they're, that's what Twitter was talking about. Twitter was saying that, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, go back, go back. L listen to this. B by the way, uh, supporters wearing the green badge, can we welcome Tanya Hicks? She just joined the family. Let's welcome Tanya Hicks. Welcome, Tanya. Welcome to, um, welcome to the family. I appreciate you very much. Okay, chat. Yo, you guys got to see this. You guys got to see this. You guys got to see this. So there was a post saying that there could be a connection of how of why they were killed. So listen to this part again. Savannah's younger brother was killed last year. Case that has learned Savannah's family was behind a courtroom brawl involved his suspected killer. Captured on this video from pa this past October. Now this is video that was shared with KSAT and in the video you can see members of Savannah's family beating the suspect accused of killing Ethan. Now this unfolded right in the middle of a Bear County courtroom. Now, Ethan Soto was just 15 when police say he was shot and killed in May of last year. Shot and killed. Savannah shot and killed. One year apart, here's the kicker. Her boyfriend was with Savannah this whole time. He beat her last year on Christmas 2022. Guys, it's 2023. That Matthew was still involved. It, I mean, this could possibly be a connection. Allegedly. We do not know. I don't want to confirm. But man, that's, that's enough to be like, okay, well, let's, you know what I'm saying? Now, Matthew could be also a reason. Let me, let me show you a picture of Matthew real quick, of what pisses me off. What was he doing? There's a picture of Matthew doing some stupid... Yeah, here it is. I wish she didn't involve. I, I I can't really say anything. It's just touchy to say. I want to say some things, but I don't want to say it. But I, I'm not. I'm gonna shut up. But I, you guys, how about this? You say it in the comments. Say it for me if you know it. All I'm gonna say is sometimes you kind of create the problems. You you uh you stir yourself around. You kind of you. The, the it, it can be reasons. They're, they're oh, shut up. Let me shut up. I I, I just wish he, he wasn't involved or had this type of attitude like this on online presence. As you can see, this is a stomp. If you go, if you even if you go on video online, I you see this a lot.
it, it's a stunt. It's a stunt they do. They point the laser at the camera. Trust me, guys. I, 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 I know. I, I know. I'm not going to say how I know, but I know. Um, it's, just to, it's just vanity. They're just showing off. And it's just that, that type of stuff can get you in trouble. Well, he, he is also, but sh acting like a thug ain't going to get you nowhere. It doesn't really get, nobody really cares online. I don't know why, but that right there, when you have guns and you're dealing with drugs, we can see why the situation happened just like that. So, continue to update you let's on continue. Savannah. Guys, we're getting closer to today's date. Keep watching. Tag someone. Hit the share. Oh, wow. We have 42 shares. That's getting better, guys. A little more, a little more. Let's, let's, let's try to at least get to 60. All right? If you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Pretty much. You just said it, yeah. Soto, the 18-year-old mother-to-be, was last seen on Friday. According to relatives, her body was found along with her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, yesterday afternoon at an apartment complex on the city's northwest side. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus calling this crime scene perplexing and ruled this a capital murder case. News for San Antonio's Tawny Davis breaks down how we got to this point. We reached out today to SAPD for new updates. All they were able to tell us is that the investigation is still ongoing. So here is what we know so far. This all started on Friday, December 22nd, when 18-year-old Savannah Soto was last seen at her apartment complex off Grissom Road in Leon Valley. Her family reported her missing on Saturday after she failed to show up to be induced at a local hospital. On Christmas Day, Soto's family held a vigil for her, pleading for police and the public to help find her. On Tuesday, Soto's sister-in-law, Joni Wesel, says she received a tip via Facebook about the location of the car Soto was last seen in. The tipster indicated it was parked at an apartment complex off Danny K Drive, three miles northeast from her apartment. When Waisel arrived, she found two bodies in the car. They'd each been shot. Waisel told us the bodies were that of Soto and her 22-year-old boyfriend, Matthew Guerra. The medical examiner has not yet confirmed their identities nor their cause of death, but police have told us the woman's unborn baby has died. Soto's family will be hosting a vigil for her tomorrow at 5 p.m. at Kenwood Park. I'm Tawny Davis, back to you. This is why I, I really do my research on every news station because they, they all have a piece of, of something that we didn't know from the, uh, the other stations. This is interesting, so... When the sister, okay, so she couldn't, she, she contacted the police immediately when she saw the bodies, her sister-in-law. Okay, let's, let's, let's keep watching and get, guys, don't miss a beat, don't miss anything. Let me know if you find any clue, anything you find over the internet. The baby doesn't count as murder? Absolutely it does. Absolutely. For a missing persons case that is now turned into a murder investigation. Although the search ended for the missing mom-to-be, Savannah Soto, the investigation into her death and the death of her boyfriend, Matthew Guetta, is just beginning. We have just learned from police they both died of a single gunshot wound. This turned into a capital murder case, and police say the killer will also be charged with the life of Savannah Soto's unborn baby. There so we go. Far, we know Savannah was like. There we go. That answers the question. If we find who did this, we're going. I'm going to show guys. I'm going to show the videos. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Put your headphones in. Sit back, relax, enjoy this podcast. Because I'm going to show you everything. Even if you're listening with your earbuds, I'm going to explain everything. Even if you can't watch this, if you're just listening to it, I'm going to explain everything as best as I can. Okay. Last seen at an apartment complex in Leon Valley. According to court documents, her boyfriend Matthew Guetta's last location was off of Culebra Road, about 10 minutes away. But the two were found outside the Kalinas apartment complex. They were both inside of the Kia Optima police were searching for. Chief William McManus said it looks like they were inside the car for three or four days. The family tells us Savannah was supposed to be induced to have her baby on Saturday. She was last heard from Friday. Family has learned the vehicle was found at the cleanest apartments yesterday and told police the woman says she's Savannah's sister-in-law, Joni Wassel, tells us she got to the car, opened the door, and found the horrific sight as police arrived to the scene. Oh, so she opened the door. Police are not sure what connection the Kalinas Apartments has to the case. Family and friends were desperately trying to find Savannah and knew she was in danger. I got the video of the black truck. I, got, I even got the video of the person who was recording outside of where they got shot. I got that. We're getting to it. I just want to put the pieces together. 
from three days ago till exactly, I'm telling you, eight hours from now, and there was an update. Hit that like, hit that share. Danger. Savannah's grandmother, Rachel Soto, shares with us how her worst nightmare came true. I'm just, my heart is broken right now. So sad. And I think they were going to replace her. She was a good girl. She loved sports. She played basketball with her brothers. But she was a heart. She was beautiful inside and out. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus calls the case complex. Questions remain over what went wrong and how the missing mother-to-be was not found for days, even though she was minutes from home. It turns out an alert to find her was only sent to people living in Leon Valley and not the rest of San Antonio. This originating in Leon Valley, that's why I came out from there, the alert, clear alert. Was there ever any indication that SAPD should have put out a clear alert of their own? No. Savannah was found just outside of Leon Valley. SAPD is now in charge of the case. We've also obtained court records today revealing Soto's boyfriend had a long criminal history, including drugs, burglary, and assaults against Savannah. Police have provided no information indicating. I mean, that would literally explain almost everything. Did you guys hear that? Play that back. L listen very closely. I'm going to turn up the volume. Court records today revealing Soto's boyfriend had a long criminal history, including drugs, burglary, and assaults against Savannah. Police have provided no information indicating Matthew Getty. Drugs? Burglary? We, I, that's new to me. I didn't know it was burglary. I thought it was just drugs. Drugs? Burglary? And obviously, he assaulted his own baby moms. I don't know who does that. Now, that is also a different scenario that can play into what happened to what, what, what just happened when this girl lost her life. It would make sense why the gun, he was the only one. He was the only one that had, remember, the gun was pressed against his. Sorry, that's a Pokemon card. I probably should have used something else. My phone. The gun was pressed against his head. He was found in the back of the car. She was in the front. Who was driving the car? Gun is pressed against his head. They found that because you can look at the markings on the forehead. And then they blasted him in the head along with the gun being pointed at his head. Sometimes crime is committed through emotion. You know how with Brian Koberger, where he stabbed those college students inside that, uh, that house? You know how when Vicky freed the guy in jail, it was all about envy, love, and lust, and all this stuff. But with this case, seems to be some connection with Matthew and the person who probably possibly put that gun to his head. Possibly not even him. Probably a whole gang thing. Probably a whole entire gang thing. Ginger... Let's welcome Ginger Aldean to the family. Welcome to the Chronicle. Uh, welcome to the Chronicle group. Welcome to the Chronicle family. I appreciate that very much. Let's welcome Ginger. So if the gun is pointed to his head, there's no markings on the girl. So he probably went boom to him and then reached to her and boom. You know what I'm saying? was involved in Savannah's death. As they continue to investigate, we uncovered Savannah Soto's boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, had been charged with assaulting her. On Christmas Day of last year, Guerra was placed on probation for that charge, which was set to end on June of 2024, but court documents show he picked up more charges this past September. A violation report shows Guerra was charged with unlawful carry of a weapon, reckless driving and evading arrest. His possession of a gun, a violation of probation, which prohibited him from having guns. Another condition of his probation was to not have harmful or injurious contact with Soto, uh, so his girlfriend. A lot of people Here's what police had to really say when did. asked if firearms were found in the car. We don't know that yet. We have not been able to move the bodies. The medical examiner is still working to determine the cause of death. All right, moving on. All right, guys, now we are getting more currently into uh, updates as of just yesterday. So now this is yesterday and today's video is coming up right now. 
So we know, what, what do we know? Let's, let's go over. They're both deceased, both shotgun wounds to the head, which means, remember, you need to think, you need, when talking about crime, right? When we always talk about crime on this podcast, I always told you guys, you need to look at things for what they are. Every single word of what you have heard from specific people. Jennifer, everybody's joining the family. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Jennifer Lena, let's welcome Jennifer to the family. Thank you. Welcome to the family, Jennifer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Remember, guys, you get perks when you join the um, the Chronicle Club. Uh, you're going to get live updates on the podcast. You're going to get explicit pictures that cannot be seen publicly, obviously. Uh, posts, uh, a lot of stuff. And I love how the group comes together and you talk about the case and you try to figure out things. That's what I love. That's what we're doing here. We're doing that live here with Savannah Soto and Matthew Guerrero. Going back. So, uh, Matthew's the only one with a gunshot marking and to the head. And Savannah got shot in the head as well. Bodies deceased three to four days in the car. Sister-in-law finds him in the car. We got uh, the, the video of the truck. We're going to show that in just a second. If I was you, you don't want to miss this. Because I got two videos to show you. Much love. Uh, thank you so much, Ginger. I appreciate you very, very much. Yeah, I am back. I lost my subscriber, but I'm back. <laughs> Welcome, Jennifer. Glad to have you back. Let's get more updated. Here we go. As of yesterday. Damn. I think this is an update, right? Yeah, this is an update. Yes, yes. Okay. In this case, I'll go over. Oh, the audio is terrible. Guys, I am so sorry. It's not me. These people. You all have the, <sighs> all of you probably have the, the background on this case, I'll go over it again anyway, briefly. Um, because this is an open investigation, I'm not going to answer questions unless it's to confirm something I'm, I've just said. But I'm not going to answer questions that may get into the details of the investigation. So first of all, uh, I want to express, uh, extend condolences to the families of both Savannah and Matthew. I also want to reassure them that detectives are doing everything that they can do to solve this case. Uh, Savannah Soto and 22-year-old Matthew uh, Guetta were reported missing by Leon Valley uh, on 12, 20, 12 23, 23. A clear alert was issued for Savannah by DPS because it met the criteria for a clear alert to be issued. Uh, clear stands for the state's coordinated law enforcement uh, adult rescue alert program. Families of both victims reached out to SAPD on the 23rd to make a police report, but we had learned that Leon Valley had already taken a missing person report. Savannah and Matthew resided in Leon Valley, in Leon Valley's jurisdiction, and were last seen in Leon Valley. Therefore, Leon Valley was the uh, reporting jurisdiction. Officers did document details provided by the family members under an SAT, SAPD information report. On the 26th at about four o'clock, SAPD was called to assist Leon Valley PD at 5903 um, Danny K. Leon Valley was uh, requesting assistance. Families of both victims were at the location and reported Leon Valley PD that earlier in the day, they received information that the missing gray Kia Optima was at the Danny K address. When police arrived, they discovered two people in the Kia. Uh, EMS was called to the scene and they pronounced both victims at the scene. It appeared that the vehicle had been located in, at that location for several days. The medical examiner had identified 22-year-old Matthew as one of the deceased victims in the vehicle, and he died from a gunshot wound to the head. The manner of that death is still pending. The second deceased victim has not yet been officially identified by the, by the medical examiner. However, I Come think on. we can be confident that that second victim was Savannah. Yes, come on, we know that. 
This case is being investigated as a capital murder case. Detectives right now are combing through days of surveillance video from several different locations that the victims were known to be, where the victims were known to be. Detectives uh, are hopeful that surveillance video will lead to the events leading up to their death. Detectives are also combing through social media and cell phone records to determine the last communications with the victims. We have a video here that we're going to share with you. We have already put it out on social media. You may have already seen it, but we're going to run this video here today. Uh, we are hoping that uh, someone is able to identify the individuals that are seen in this video. Um, if anyone has any information regarding what they may see in this video, we would ask that you call Homicide on 207-7635. You can remain anonymous. You do not have to give your name. The video was taken from a nearby location where the bodies were located. And finally, here is a slowed down image of the first person of interest getting out of the Chevy Silverado that is seen next to the Kia. And then here is another, there'll be another sl uh, slowed down image of the second person of interest getting out of the victim's Kia Optima. Um, once you've looked at the video, I will take a few questions again to only declare. Okay, I want to pause this real quick because there was an interesting comment uh, that Danielle just made. She says, my daughter told me that they are waiting for DNA because apparently the bullet did a lot of damage to her. Now, I'm going to be graphic here because I have to be forward. This is Chronicle. This is not like your other podcasts where... I'm going to hide behind the lines. I'm, I have respect for everyone. But I need to be detailed here so we can get the facts correct. We can all stay on the same page. And now I do understand that. Like So basically, the bullet was pressed against Matthew's head. And I can see how, obviously. But then Savannah was in the front of the seat. Front. Your skull will be more softer in the back. You understand what I'm saying? So if anyone is shooting anyone in the head at a specific angle, depending on where you shoot them at, then I can understand how the exit wound can be a bit... a bit damaged, let's just say. So why I'm saying this is because they still need to verify. Did you hear those words? verify to see if it's her. You could, so people, I, so how these people do it is they identify their victims through tattoos or big things that are like, that coincides to what they, what pictures they have on social media or someone that someone could identify them by. But when it comes to this situation where this is a, well, how tall is she? 4'11"? That's tiny, you know? And a, sh a gunshot wound to the head I'm going to get graphic here, but th th we're doing this for the sake of, you, know, you need to understand this. So if it's here and the exit wound is out here, it'll be pushed out or, or broken in some factor. Um, it's very, very sad, but we need to understand that part, okay? She's 5'1". Thank you for telling me that. Clarify Small. what I've said if, if you're not quite sure about it, but I will not take questions other than what I've just talked about because the investigation is still active. Chief, you said the ME said that for Matthew Guerra, it was a gunshot wound to the head, but when we called them, they said it's a contact gunshot wound. What does that mean? It means that it was there. Um, um, when we talk about the, the manner of death is not Correct, determined. Ginger. The manner meaning, was it a suicide or was it a murder? So that's what the ME has yet. So basically, People are getting confused online because they said since the police found out it was a contact gunshot wound, meaning that the, the gun, you could, they know that it was pointed to the head because the print matches. You know, it's a print. So people be like, oh, he committed, he shot her. I, really, people really bother me so much online. Like, you got to be very careful who you watch. I make sure, me, Nov, make sure that I don't give you, I don't put... Like, I don't just stamp it. I would never say this happened for a fact without 
having proof or hearing it from the officials. If I see that, the, if, if I hear that, oh, the boyfriend shot her and shot himself, why did he shoot himself? Because it was a, it was a marking on his head. Stop it. Stop. Someone else could have pointed the gun at his head. Why was he in the back of the seat? Use context clues here. So was it a suicide? Absolutely, I do not think so. So I'm telling people right now, stop telling people that it's suicide. You don't know absolutely nothing more than what the police knows. And what he just said is what I assume, that someone pointed the gun at his head. Be open-minded, be aware, and try to get more details for, your, for everything to coincide, okay? Yet to officially put out. So there's a possibility that this could be a murder-suicide. You see what I'm saying? It's a, but he did say possibility, but you need other clues so you can X that scenario out. That, that possibility exists, but right now we don't believe so unless we get information from the ME that would change our current course. You don't believe so, and I, I wonder the callousness of all this. What is your message to the person or persons who may have committed this? You know, somebody asked me that the other night, and I, I don't know what value that adds to this interview, what message I would put out. I mean, clearly, it was a heinous act. It was, it was, you know, unspeakable, the tragedy of it. Um, I mean, what message would I give to those folks? I mean, I don't see what the value of that question is. But anyway. And just to clarify, you are treating this as a homicide for both people? It is a capital murder investigation. For both victims? Yes, right now, unless we get information that changes that. Chief, when was the surveillance video? Is this one from the 26th? Say it again. Where and when was this surveillance video taken? A few days before. Yeah. Days before. The bodies were discovered. And where was this? What's the address of this area? Where what? Where, where, where's, the, where's, where's, is this where the bodies were discovered? Where was the body discovered? Very close to it, yes. Very close to it. Um, I do see, I believe he is handing something to the driver of the pickup truck. Do we know anything about that? I mean, that, that's... That's what we're looking at. Uh, what we believe right now, it was something to wipe the side of the car down with. Uh, you know, we can't be 100% certain with that. Boom! Not 100% certain, but dang. But dang. We're going to watch that video. Cut, type in the comments right now if you want to watch that video. We got 200 people watching, only 48 shares. Please, guys, hit the share button. I will go over the shares later. I would appreciate that. Ashley Crespo with the share. Connie M with the share. I see Ashley Lynn with the share. Thank you all to my sharers. I appreciate that. But that's what we're studying in this video, and that's what we believe right now. And do we believe that... These should, guys, you know what I should do? Let me know in the chat. Remember with Carly Russell? Because you guys, if you don't know, IRL, I'm a cinematographer. I deal with editing. I shoot commercials, whatever. I do that in real life. That's my job. So I have an editing tool, you know, DaVinci Resolve, and I have Premiere Pro. I can actually download the video, try to enhance it, lower the film grade, use the noise, you know, and then um, try to zoom it in, try to enhance it. I could probably, should I do that? Should I do that tomorrow? Wait, it's New Year's Eve, right? The 30th. I can do that tomorrow. We can do that tomorrow. You know, we're going to do that. I'm going to download the video. I'm going to enhance it. I'm going to do everything I can. We're going to break it down ourselves. And I want everyone in the comments to let me know what you see. And I will upload that video that I edited directly, sorry, but to the supporters group. It would have to go to them. I, I have to because if I upload that to straight to YouTube, you know. You know what? How about this? I'll do that. i upload it straight to Facebook. But I'll, supporters will get it first. And then I'll upload it publicly to Facebook. Let's continue. These people may have any links of some sort. Do we know what links they I, have? I, I, I don't know that. Uh, and again, that would be part of the investigation. So just to be clear, the, the vehicle, the Kia Optima, that's the vehicle that they were found in? Yes. Okay. But the person that's getting out of the vehicle, you, you're saying, out of the Kia Optima, is that, is there somebody that gets out of that vehicle that you're talking yes. about? Yes. Yes. And you don't believe it to be either Matthew or? No. Okay. So we, do you all believe that they were shot, the killings happened somewhere else and they drove the car and dumped it? And well, I... You know, again, I don't want to. I don't want to get into the to the details other than what we've, what I've talked about here today. So, 
uh, uh, the answer to that question would be yes. But, but other than that, again, I'm not going to answer questions that are outside of what I just talked about. So in this video, do you think that they're dead or alive? Pardon? In this video, do you think they're dead or alive? Again, I'm not going to get into that. And then one other question. The day of the, the crime scene, you called it perplexing. Now you've learned a couple more details. Can you go into why you use that word? Because it was unknown at the time. I mean, we had been there not very long at all. And it was undetermined at that time whether we were going to be looking at it as a murder-suicide or as a capital murder investigation. So I think we've kind of gotten past that point right now. We definitely did. I mean, the, gu the gun would have been in the car if it was suicide. I mean, put your head together. Let's, 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 let's make it make sense. If it was a suicide, if he shot, his, he would have to shoot her before him, obviously. He would have shot her, and Matthew would have shot himself, but then the gun would have fell. And I, Matthew can't shoot himself in the head, get back up, and put the gun, and throw it in the garbage, and then drop back in the car. No. Someone got there, pushed the gun in his head, shot her, caught it a day. <laughs> now, unless we get evidence that would lead us to believe otherwise, but I think we're past that point right now. One more question. I've been there for several days. How many, how many days exactly? I don't know exactly, but they've, they've been there for a, a few days, I'll say. So what took you so long to find the car if, it, if the car was parked there for several days? He said, what took you so long to so find long the car? to find it? Yeah. If the car was parked over there for like several days? Nobody came across that car. Thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on to the current up-to-dates. All right, guys, these are officially the up-to-date videos of today. Of Savannah Soto. Are you guys ready to watch it? I want to know what the heck happened today. I want to know what they found out. I want to know everything. And I got a lot. I got an up to date. I know. God, I just have so much footage. Sit back, relax, watch this. We got a lot to unpack. Wow. And when I said, when I told people to hit that share button, literally 15 of y'all did it. And let me see who did that. And it was quick. Luis Tresco. Uh, Shell Lynn, Tracy Mosher, Candace Carroll. Shout out to all these people that hit Connie M. Knapp. At, thank you guys very much for hitting that share button. Shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. This morning about the investigation into the deaths of a pregnant teenager and her boyfriend. Investigators in San Antonio have released new surveillance video. It shows a pickup pulling up next to a Kia Optima that belonged to Savannah Soto's boyfriend, Matthew Guerra. They interact and then they drive off. Now the bodies of Soto and Guerra. Wait, did he just put something in the car? Yo, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to edit this video. I'm perfect for this job. I am so perfect for this job. I, I first, I'm seeing it with you for the first time. I'm telling you, we're gonna watch this. Interact and then they drive off. Now the bodies of Soto and Guerra were found in the Optima on Tuesday. Police say this video is from just a few days before. And yesterday, Soto's family held a vigil for her. The couple's death is being investigated as capital murder. You guys got a lot of things to figure out on this podcast. You guys got a lot of things to figure out. This was just eight There's hours ago. Exclusive new details about this. New details, guys, get involved. Case that potentially help explain why police have been so vague about what type of investigation they have on their hands. The I team's Mariah Medina has all these details for us tonight. Mariah. That's right. Law enforcement sources tell me that San Antonio police didn't find a firearm or the cell phone of Savannah Soto's boyfriend, Matthew Guetta, in the car that the pair were found in Tuesday afternoon. Sources also sharing that Guetta's body was found in the back seat of the vehicle while Soto was in the front passenger seat with a child carrier on her lap. I talked to Guetta's family who tell me everything that they did to find the expectant parents and frustrations with that process. But once it was like the 2, 2.30 p.m. mark, we... Guys, give me one second. I never knew what she just said. Hold on real quick find a firearm or the cell phone of Savannah Soto's boyfriend. Did you just hear what they just said? They never found the firearm and the phone of Soto's boyfriend. But what about Savannah's phone? This seems to be closely tied to her boyfriend. Am I right or am I wrong? Listen to the details. They did not find anything related to the boyfriend. Said nothing about Savannah. 
nothing. The only thing that is about Savannah right now is that she got shot in the head. Matthew Guetta in the car that the pair were found in to say. You're probably wondering, no, why did you say that? Why? Does that matter? Well, possibly, maybe. Because what does, why do they want his phone? Why? I think they said her phone was left back at home. That is, okay, but that is more of a reason to why is her phone left at home and not his. I'm, yo, I'm, uh, Day afternoon. We're going to get on this. We're going to get on this. Sources also sharing that Geta's body was found in the back seat of the vehicle while Soto was in the front passenger seat with a child carrier on her lap. I talked to Geta's family who tell me everything that they did to find the expectant parents and frustrations with that process. But once it was like the 2, 2.30 p.m. mark, we started, started panicking. Panic and uh, non-stop calling and racing home, and racing over there. and Calling police. Gabriel and Raquel Guerra say they called 911 when they sensed their son and his girlfriend were in trouble. The husband and wife who live in Bear County initially tried to file missing persons reports with the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Soto's family, who live in San Antonio, tried to file with San Antonio police. But because Guerra and Soto lived in Leon Valley, the report had to be taken by Leon Valley police. Well, I was told that they were trying to get the three agencies uh, all the information they had and combine them into one report. As this was happening, Gabriel says he was racing to his son's apartment, kicking down the door after he didn't get an answer, fearing the worst. The candle. The, uh, the candle was on. Um... That was another sign that they had a candle on. Gabriel says the lit candle and Savannah's diaper bag being left behind told them something was wrong. The house, he says, showing no signs of a struggle. Gabriel says he asked the Leon Valley police detective assigned to the case if they could track his son's cell phone location. He says a detective told him it was unlikely a judge would grant a warrant for that because there weren't exigent circumstances. And he basically said they're adults and they want to disappear, they can disappear. And again, I reminded him, you know, the, the baby's overdue has been overdue. They missed their due date. And uh, to me, that's a life-threatening, uh, you know, it's, it's it, we, there should have been more urgency. We reached out to the Leon Valley detective assigned to the missing persons case to see if a warrant was ever sought. The detective replied that he was instructed by the Leon Valley chief of police to direct questions about the investigation to San Antonio police. He stated that he was not authorized to make any further comments. I never knew a pain like this existed. You know, you, you hear about a uh, parent losing a child and you're like, man, I can't imagine what they're going through. It's, it's exactly how it is. You, know, you can't imagine it. The couple expected to become first time grandparents this holiday season, now mourning a son, a grandson, and their would be grandson's mother. I just hope um, we can get to the bottom of this and justice be served because I just can't fathom how anybody could do that to a pregnant woman. I, 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 I just can't get that out of my head. While Soto's murder would be considered capital murder under Texas law because she was pregnant, San Antonio police shared a synopsis which lists Guerra's. This is so strange to me, y'all. Okay. Okay, something's wrong here. Hold on real quick. I just figured something out. Give me one second. Some, okay. Um, how... If, if all the stuff is left in their apartment, right, and the candle is on and all the stuff, and then like, do you believe that they were approached to get in the car? Because if Guerrero's, if Guerrero's in the back and Savannah's in the front and she's holding something in their car, in their car, what was it, a car seat? What, what, what was on her lap? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking they were abducted, and then they were abducted. Only means this by by means by just straight gun to the face, gun to, like just guns pointed. Like, hey, get in the car. Get in the car. Car seat, car carrier. Okay. Why is it on Savannah? Why is it on Savannah's lap? I mean, she's pregnant. She shouldn't be having a car seat. But then it would make sense why it's on her lap for people to sit in the car. A car seat is going to be in between Matthew and the person with the gun, 
the person driving is not going to hold a car seat. Who would hold it? Either Matthew or Savannah. This seems so executed to me. This was, you know, uh, th this, is, this is executed. Soto, as well as her unborn son, as victims, apparently signaling law enforcement's belief that both Guerra and Soto were murdered. For the News 4i team, I'm Mariah Medin. Tonight, the family of Savannah Soto is talking about their devastating loss. News 4 San Antonio's Amanda Henderson spoke. I know people are saying he had his pants down, but here, over here, I'm not going to confirm that with you. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you on that. I don't know just yet. If they were leaving, why would they leave the candle on? That's understandable. I mean, people do do that, I, I, you know, but yeah, yeah, you, you, you're right. You're, you're right. Sh uh, Shavanna, yeah, I can see that. Uh, Keely Field, did you just become a supporter? Because they put it in the back. They were unalived him. Spoke with them a bit earlier today at a place that already represents the loss that they've experienced. Can I can't play that. Think about the good time. This I can't play that. I'm sorry, guys. Rachel is here talking about the loss of his sister, her granddaughter, Savannah Soto. I think I'm going to get up. The discovery. Hold on, y'all. And it's. She was. As a remodel of hurting that night, not only for his. Every day. She was. Every one second. Everything. Reporting okay. in San Antonio, I'm Amanda Henderson. Matthew Guerra's family also grieving tonight, not only for his loss, but for Savannah and their unborn child. As News for San Antonio, Stephanie Esquivel explains, Matthew's father and stepmother don't believe he was capable of hurting them. Those are Savannah's and Matthew's and, and uh, baby Fabian's. Presents under the Christmas tree, serving as a reminder of the tragic loss of a growing family. We still can't leave. We're just never going to meet him. Matthew's father, Gabriel Guerra, says the young couple was anxiously awaiting their baby's arrival. We had to remind him on the baby shower to uh, let Savannah open some of the gifts. Oh, yeah. Matthew was opening all the gifts, so yeah. they were definitely both happy and excited. Damn, that's actually sad. Holy sh damn. Anna or Matthew, Gabriel kicked in their... All right, guys, let's... Uh... Okay, this is the video of actually them in the car still. Are you guys ready to look at the video? You guys wanted to see this video. I wanted to take my time with it. Um, let's let's look, let's look at all the footages. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you uh. What do you think? What like? Give me your opinion. Guys, I'm going to pin the YouTube channel, actually. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to pin it because I'm going to go live there tomorrow as well as here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, thank you so much, Keely Field. I appreciate that very much. All right, let's keep, let's keep watching. This is... Is... Hey everyone, we're here out here on location right, so. uh, where the Savannah Soto and her and Matthew Guerra have been found. They're inside the vehicle. So right here, they are still in the vehicle. I'm not going to talk so much because of the, the family and there's a lot of people out here. So if someone can just mm, mediate and just talk in there, let everyone know what's going on. Um, that's here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it on um, Facebook, TikTok. Everyone's been talking about it. Savannah Soto. Yeah, we don't know. If someone can um, be a mediator, I'm sorry. I'm just so shook up. This is crazy. I'm going to go over here on this side. But that is the, the vehicle, the Kia. Yeah, she was found. Her and him. Yeah. 
You know, what was that car drove there? Like, was it was someone driven that car? Were the body still inside? Or oh Jennifer, I didn't even see you set the hundred stars. Jennifer. Jennifer Lena, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys are on fire with these stars. You guys are on fire with thank you so much, Jennifer. I appreciate you. So, like you so they were drove like mm, probably so he parked and got out because he was in a passenger seat. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, this is making sense. Okay, 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 yes, yes, yes. This is making sense. It's Savannah Soto. Someone can post it in the group, please. Savannah was shot first in front of Matthew. Then he was tortured and shot. How do you know that, Brett? Brett, how, how do you know that? Explain that to me. Where, where do you get your sources from? I'm, I'm actually being like very serious. I want to know how, how, how did you know that? How, how are you like assuming to, to know that? How? I, I want to know. Jennifer with the 200. She, she said, you're welcome. Love you. Oh, Jennifer, thank you. Jennifer, that's... Really, you're amazing. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Um, yes, the detective said they believe they were killed elsewhere and drove there. Ah, okay, Lady K. Okay. Allegedly. We're all alleged. Okay, people in SA are saying that. No one knows who they were shot first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Here in Santana, yes. It's the one all over TikTok, the pregnant girl that's been missing that was supposed to have be delivered on Friday. Yes, they are That's in the right. car. No one knows. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the next video. I got the next clip for you. That's the courthouse. All right. Let me know what you guys see. Let me know what you find. I'm going to blow up the video after this, okay? But I'm not going to edit. The editing I'm going to do is going to be a while. That's going to be tomorrow. Here's the main thing, okay? You guys ready to hear this? Were they in the car this time? This whole entire time? You see what you, you get what I'm saying? If it is, that is so uh, that this is scary, like this is sad. Like were they shot and then this happened or did they see them in the car? We do nobody knows that. We don't know that. But if we can zoom in, maybe we can get some clues here. He gets out the car. This, the fat guy. No offense. I, I, I'm just using to describe him. Goldito. He opens the car. Oh, I do see this. What is that on the side of the door? He grabs it. Comes out the car, the truck, excuse me. But then something opens it up. Somebody's out there. He puts something in the car. You know, the towel could be okay, so. The towel is not going to be used to wipe outside the car, guys. I'm going to be honest. In my opinion, it's only going to be... People kept saying wipe outside the car. He's not wiping the car down. He's probably only wiping what he touched, possibly what he touched, not the outside of the car. The blood is not going to travel from in to out. Let's just chalk that off the list, okay? So the blood is possibly... Because all that... all Guys, you shooting someone in the car, two people, you're going to have a lot of blood on you. Absolutely. This ain't no movies, right? That's reality. All this gore and blood is coming out of your body. It's going. So it's probably used to wipe out evidence of fingerprints or the person, anything in that factor. 
because if they're able to take guns and phones, they don't want to leave any details about them, about them, then this was obviously a homicide and their intent was to get away. All right? So we're going to watch other angles. We're going to watch, we're, we're going to keep watching. But if you have a video that I don't have, please send it so we can watch it. Please, right now, send it right now. But please make sure it's clear, it's good, and we, we can watch it, okay? Fingerprints would be on the outside of the door as well. Uh, you're right. You're, you're right. But f fingerprints to, to, to what? Open up the door, you have to touch the handle, right? No, sh no shells were found inside, which means that their intent was to get away with murder. I'm going to pause this video. We're going to get back. So fucked up. Who kills a pregnant woman? Shaking my head so sad. Although there is a lot of speculation regarding the location of the bodies within the car. This woman is sharing her knowledge with us. We won't know until law enforcement discloses, discloses it. They were both together whenever they passed. We have no details. They don't, they don't want to give us no details. They did let us know that there was shell casings in the car. And that my cousin's injuries were very gruesome. This is a very, very hard pill to swallow. <laughs> Just seeing the pain in my aunt's eyes. <laughs> Even seeing the pain of Savannah's family just hurt me so much. Hmm. Let me try to find something over here. So here's a slight update. Now this is all alleged. I'm just, you know, reporting what I found so far, what I came across. Guys, if you're gonna send me videos, please send me videos with no music. I don't know why people like I don't, people are really, really dramatic. This is not a, a, a movie. You know what I'm saying? This is real life. Stop posting videos with music. It's just I don't I don't understand why people do that. Um. I, I can't be able. I can't. I, I, I'm. I'm gonna get things taken down if I play this. This. This video. But, I mean, I want the raw video, straight up, for what it is. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show. Um, hold on, real quick. He's, and that supposedly the chief. Had, um, so a lot of people. I've really been like doing theories and stuff about Savannah. So these people are still playing music. Basically, today around oh, three or four, oh, my mother-in-law so had left for like five, four days. Whenever Savannah didn't match up, then that's when me and my girlfriend were. Like, okay, this is not giving me details about exactly. Like, uh, I'm trying to get a spe specific details on. Mm, hold on, guys. Give me one second. Apartment door in hopes of finding clues. That's when I saw Savannah's overnight bag that she had packed for the hospital that she didn't have with her, and that even threw me more of a panic. Gabriel knows Matthew was arrested in 2022 for domestic abuse against Savannah and even suggested Matthew stay in custody longer. They had contacted each other 
on the phone and that was a violation so they can please keep him in there and unfortunately uh, it would have to be Savannah to say that and she, she wouldn't do it so eventually he was let out. Domestic abuse charges were never filed again. Gabriel and his wife Raquel say the couple was inseparable and seemed happy. That's why they don't believe Matthew could have hurt Savannah but they want to find who did. It's got to be something. So Trevor Moore is what people are posting right now saying that he's responsible. Now, I am not going to sit here and say that I learned my lesson in the past because it says that FYI, people are putting out this guy was arrested in relations to Savannah Nicole, Nicole Soto. And it's a lie. This is why I keep telling people, you guys need to be very careful on who you get your, 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 your information from because if, if, this, if, if this guy actually did it, this would have been breaking news all over the place. Clearly, it's not. I'm not saying he is or he didn't, but so far... I haven't heard anything or any ties to him actually doing that. You know what I'm saying? And people are saying this is him. I'm, I'm here to say that I have never heard of anything about him being responsible. Absolutely nothing. Uh, hold on. Does somebody have that doorbell camera? Not saying that it, it's tied, but people are saying that it's it's probably not. But we're, we're we're about to find out right now. Hold on, guys, give me a quick quick second. Oh, this video is clear. Oh, this is very clear. What is this? That's clear. So he, so okay, so he drove. How did he know where to meet him exactly? He flagged him. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this was planned. This was planned. This was planned. This was planned. He knew exactly. He lighted it. He told him. Look at that. He knew exactly. That is like... He the way they met together, they knew exactly where to go. He was there for a hot minute, too. Look at that. It looks like it was put on the door. You see what I'm saying? Like, look at it. Look at it. It was put on the door. Now, I'm not going to lie. They're actually doing a good job. Oh, no. People cannot be sharing these photos. I don't know why. That's not even the girl. People are showing very gruesome photos, and that's you don't even have... I don't even think that's her. No. No. Watch closely. You see the drivers get out for a sec. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw... I, I, okay, I, I saw that. The driver gets out for a second. I see that. I see that. I did see that. You see like the top of his head and stuff like that. Oh! Wait a minute! Wait! Okay. You See the video of the guy in the truck in Savannah Soto's case? This guy was the video. That looks just like him. It does. Wait, what? Oh, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, I'm not saying that it is, but it definitely does. Have a look at this. It looks similar. I don't want to say it's him, but it does look similar. I see, I see similar. I want to be careful. I want to be careful. I want to be careful about what I say here. I want to be careful. Let me see something here. He gets out the car. He's a big guy. Look at that. Where's the other video at? Hold on. Yeah. Give me one second. I'm going to take this photo, zoom it in. Look at the picture of Annalise Stepdad. Can you guys send it to me? Send it to me. S send it to me. That's not him. He's bigger. Uh, we can't really tell the proportion size to just one photo to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It looks similar. It does. I don't want to stamp it, but yo, they look similar. They do. They absolutely. Wow. Like, wow. Wow. That is very, very, very similar. Wow. I, I didn't expect it to be that close. That is, that is, that is definitely close. Look at that. Well, not, uh. You know what? I want to, um, let me see something real quick. Let me play we want to go out to San Antonio, Texas next, where we're getting new information from police after a pregnant teen who had been missing since Friday was found dead on Tuesday in San Antonio, along with her boyfriend. Family confirming that 18-year-old Savannah Soto and her boyfriend were found dead in a car at some medical apartments located in San Antonio. Soto was nine months pregnant and a week past her due date, according to her family. Now this is the girl's boyfriend, by the way, and one of them that was talking. That's a lot of gunshots, though. Hey, pass the wheel. Is that an older video? Because because I, I... hold on real quick, I gotta I gotta do research on that. 
who runs outside to see what's going on? Since this whole world, this is so sketchy, people are saying. Was that Savannah walking? I don't, I don't. Is that her? Look at her belly. But I don't. That is not Savannah walking. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with people? This, I don't think that, guys, I'm going to be honest. So I, I know you guys, you guys want to know what's going on or things are tied to, but I, this is not, I don't think this is the same day in my opinion. Uh, especially gunshots being heard that loud would have had high police activity. Um, it being the same day. That would have been even on the press conference. You know what I'm saying? I, in my opinion, I do not, I don't believe that's, mm, I'm sorry, y'all. In my opinion, I don't think that's going to, plus that would have been in a press conference that this was tied. It, a video shows of Annalisa and her man going into that apartment. Okay. Who are these people? Who are these people then? Who are these people? How do you message me? Go to my profile and click message. And then that, you, that's how you do it. Yeah, and TikTok goes real left with these stories. Oh my God, Jennifer, you don't... When I, when I get messages, people think that, like, people would literally say aliens did this. I, I, I don't... Guys, I'm about hardcore proof. Rawness, realness, don't plug nothing out of the left field with it. Like, be realistic, go with the evidence, figure out using what tools you have necessary. You know, it's cool to hypothesize. You can do that allegedly, but make sure you state that and don't, don't say that's facts because we don't want to look wrong here. And I learned that from Gabby Petito because a couple of times I was embarrassed. That's Annalisa's mom and stepdad. Now, this looked like the man in a truck. Yo, he looks like the guy from the truck. That, right. That didn't look like her at all. Lots of speculation going on and misinformation. Yeah, it, this man was in the truck. But not, well, we don't know that's the man in the truck. We're going to assume that he is. This is interesting to me. That you, that, this is actually interesting. This is interesting. <phone rings> Keely Field with 100 stars says, uh, that didn't look like her. Um, Lots of speculation. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly, Keely. We want to be very careful. Remember, guys, when you send stars, your comment goes straight slap on the stream, just like what Keely Field uh, just did by sending 100 stars. I'm going to show you an example again. This helps a lot because if I missed your comment, I'm so sorry. He should be questioned. Do I think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. When it involves somebody dying the way she did, anybody's a target. I, don't, I wouldn't even check off a dog. I wouldn't even check off a guy who never held a gun. You know? Ooh, Sandra. Well, do they own a truck? Sandra, well said. Well said, Sandra. See, these, let's ask questions. That's what I like. Lori with the share. Hit the share button, guys. If you're brand new, hit the share or hit the follow button. If you're just watching me and you haven't hit the follow, it's the perfect time to hit that follow button. We'll try to figure, you guys are, I'm not gonna lie. You guys are action, you're asking very good questions. That's, that's what we need to do. People are gonna have answers in the comments and we're gonna find the answers here. So if you see somebody asking questions in the chat, answer it for them. So we all can get involved. All right. I, 
Yes, they do owns black truck that is being shared to you can sell the. Do we know for a fact they own that truck, Scott? Like for a fact, is that is that a, is that confirmed? They do a lie detector test. A lie detector is not admissible in court. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even do it. Who in their family owns a black? I that I don't know. That I have no idea. I, I got your I got your message, uh, Danielle Williams. I did. Let me see something real quick. It's just you attached it to a DM and it's personal. I don't want to show your DMs. I'm going to have to save the video. Okay, we're going to open up this video now. Now we're hearing from... I don't know why, but it's not opening up for me. I'm trying to show you guys the video. It's not opening up. I don't know why. Personal. I mean, I don't know what kind of person or could. Hold on. Her, your video is not opening up for me. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. Now we can look at something. Now. Why the fuck did he throw it to put it back? Wait, what? Wait, this is not the end. This is, this is just, it's the same angle, but reverse. We get straight to that breaking news. San Antonio police. Hold on. Get it, and he said that. Yeah. Guys, this isn't no different angle. This is a reversed angle, just with higher quality. This is not a different angle. Who, wait, come out. Who said this is, the, no. Guys, this is. This, this is not, uh, this isn't a, di I don't know who said that, but it's not a different angle. It, it it's the, uh, I, I believe it's the same angle. It's just flipped. This is not, this is just a flipped mirror image. It's mirrored. It's the same angle, but it's just higher quality that I could see that something in that car is moving. This is, this, this footage. Why did that towel in the truck? Somebody else is in that truck. Hold on real quick. Hold on. How did that, how did that white object? This, there has to be another person in that truck. There has to be. There has to be another person in that truck. There has to be. There has to be. Let me look at this angle real quick. Some, something is off here. Hold on. Uh, at this time, he's just saying this is a heinous act, unspeakable. Kia Optiba at the 5900 block of Danny K. And inside that car, Matthew Guetta and Savannah Soto found dead. And now it was asked of McManus uh, if he has a message to the families impacted of Soda and Geta, and he said that uh, at this time he's just saying this is a heinous act, unspeakable, and he was also uh, answered a question about whether he's ruling out murders. Okay, this just got way, way, adding an additional person? The, okay, so now this is getting more big. Oh my God, now I don't know how detectives feel. This feels like, this feels like Gabby Petito all over again, yet again.
Don't get me started on Brian Kohlberger. Jesus Christ. Once I saw that white thing move by itself, I'm like, who, who moved that? A suicide that is still... Who moved this? Potential possibility. Who, who did this? Who, who did this? Mm, that's a little too weird for me. That's weird. That's a little too weird for me. I saw your message. Uh, I, I, I did see your message and... It's just that you're 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 kind of matching the driver and Matthew, but Matthew is dead in the back of the seat. We don't know if it's before or after, but I think we're we're focusing too much on Matthew being the killer here and he died. You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't I'm not I'm I wouldn't first put, I don't know, personally, I'm not going to put Matthew as target number, uh, excuse me, a person of interest. Absolutely not. The man died. Like, I'm not, I don't think so. I, I really want to find or know who did this, and I'm not, I'm not saying it's Matthew. I don't. I think there are three people, driver, person in the back, or whoever is driving. The, okay, so let's be logical here. Let, let's be logical, okay? In America, do we drive cars on the left side or the right side? Somebody just answer the question for me, please. Do we drive on the left or the right? Do we drive the left or the right? Okay, we drive left. Tracy, we do not drive right side. Okay. Well, we drive on the left side. It's okay. I want you guys to try to use your head, okay? If this is the left side, right? Let's say, give me an, give me an example of a vehicle. I don't know what the heck to give an example. Okay, my phone. Let's say this is the car. And this is the... Damn, it's mirrored on my end. On my end, this is my left. So we're going to have to work together on this, all right? This is my left. This is, Jesus Christ. Hold on, guys. I got to mirror the, the, the camera so you can actually see. <laughs> Jesus. Hold on. Okay, this is my left. This is my right. You see? If the person is driving on the left side, right? He's driving the car, which means whatever side that door opens is on the left side you take that image you rotate it oh, you rotate it 180 degrees it's parallel to the truck which means that guy came out of the driver's seat who's with me on here who's with me on here who's with me on here tell me if you understood that part I know it's kind of hard but tell me if you understood that part you got it? You guys understand? That is not the passenger seat. That is not the passenger seat. I don't know why people are saying that. Pay attention. You see that? You see that? Pay attention. If that car is pulling in, that Kia, the, the only person on that right seat, if the body was in there, would have to be Savannah, already dead. Try to pay attention. If the steering wheel is on the left side, driving the car, the only person that's going to open the door is the only person that's alive. It's that driver. Look at it. It's open. The guy, that white shirt, didn't open the door. That other guy opened the door. Take that image. Flip it around. That means that big white guy drove the car. It wasn't a passenger seat. Whoever's in a passenger seat looked like they were flicking the towel. So let me... Here's an example. Yo, 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 pass me a towel. I got, I got the blood over me. Oh, well, what's wrong? What happened? I killed them. Okay, give me a towel. All right, I got you. The person in the, whoever's in that truck said, yo, here, take it. Take, take this, take this. 
He snatches the towel. Are we on the same page? Yes? So both doors are next to each other. Because I, I, I'm not trying to be rude here, but I know people are saying, oh, the, drive, the passenger took the towel. That's not, guys. You have to you look close. I keep telling you guys, you have to, when you do this type of work, you have to pay attention to small details. It explains everything, okay? Look at small details. He comes out the car. Look what's, look what's, look already what's there. White. That wasn't there just a millisecond ago. He's already heading to the car. Boom, it's there. He's talking to whoever's there. Somebody's white. He, whoever's in that p car seat is wiping shit down already. He's wiping it. I cannot wait to edit this footage. I'm getting like anxious right now. He's wiping while the guy is who approached the vehicle is like this, looking inside. He's wiping. He's wiping. He's talking. He comes out. He grabs whatever that's there. He grabs another towel. It looks like that first one was not enough. The Kia had the flash on to give the truck's attention. Yes, we saw that at the beginning. Correct. Yes. Yes. So I think we're getting it, guys. We're getting it. Yes, Carly, you are correct. Carly, Natasha, yes, he did signal, correct, which indicates what? If he's signaling, what does that indicate? Who's the first person I can ask? I, I said the answer already. If someone is indicating, but also they so happen to meet at the same exact spot as he's turning into, what does that indicate? Look, look. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That means that boy said, could have allegedly. Yeah, bro, I just killed him. I just killed him. Meet me in the parking lot where, bada, 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 bada. And then I meet me there. I'm, I, I have the key, I have the car. I'm gonna flash the, the, the lights when I, when, I, when I see there. It's that simple, it's really that simple. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's these little details that you can say. Now, it is allegedly. I'm not a, 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 a genius here, but it, I use little, we, we have to use little clues that can paint a bigger picture of what, what it can make sense. You know? It's like putting pieces together in different sections of the puzzle. I don't think it was a call for help. I think the truck driver was probably there for all of it. Okay, you're probably right. Julie says... Did they say they were killed somewhere else and moved the car? If so, that just shouldn't be a horrible mess. Mm. The killer, the killer and the passenger of the truck, they got someone else to drive the Kia. Why do you say that, Sandra? That's interesting to me. The killer and the passenger of the truck, and they got someone else in to drive the Kia. Why? Why? So they killed him in the car. They left. They went back and got the Kia. Somebody. Why did you say that? I'm in, I'm interested in why you said that. They were killed elsewhere. They were killed somewhere else. There was nothing in the car. No blood, no nothing. Wait, what? How were you guys getting this information from? I, I need to understand where you're getting this, Alexis. They were killed somewhere else. So you're telling me that they, ki that they killed them somewhere else, pick up their body, and plant them in a car. That's interesting to me that you said that. There's only one thing that could definitely blow that blow that uh, that that scenario out the water. If you shoot somebody in the head, there will be strict like there will be you will see fragments of tissue and a whole bunch of other stuff in a specific area. If you blow somebody in the head, good luck cleaning that. That that's for professionals. It will be in the car if it is.
I'm waiting for the person that actually said that. No. I want to go back to that person's comment. Somebody said that the killer and the passenger of the truck. Sandra, can you answer my question? Where did you get that, that statement from? Okay, slowly you see what I mean. I'm thinking the same thing. There's nothing on the windshield. Well, the windshield's black. We wouldn't know that. Guys, they're, he, they're not going to clean the mess of the car. They're not going to... There's so much missing from here. It's just, this is, this, this is why I do this. This is why I do crime podcasts because I, I have to finish this. I have to know why. Why two towels? Why did he meet them at that the same spot? Why? Why that? Per they met so perfectly. They met so perfectly. So perfect in that, in that parking lot. Behind a fence where late at night, they didn't see the cameras. They didn't know about those cameras. They would have never done it there. Absolutely, they would have never done that. They didn't see those cameras. But they did it behind a fence looking all sneaky. This is planned. You cannot tell me this is not planned. You cannot tell me for a second that that man did not call him and said, yo, meet me right here. What they should do is when they find people of interest, cross-reference their phone records, get a subpoena, cross-reference their phone records, see, cross-reference the time of the camera here to their phone call logs to see if this is there, but if that's the, if they're really smart criminals, they're they're gonna they're gonna use burners. They're gonna use burners, but there's cameras everywhere. This is 2024. There's cameras everywhere. It looks like he wiped his fingertips on the door and he touched it when it opened up. Something was said about pants being down. I I don't know anything about that. People were saying that. I don't go based on hearsay. I would say it like I heard it, but I would never say that's a fact. I, I read it in the comments, but I can't tell you that's a fact. No, I didn't. That also means it's three people involved in killing the... Correct, Karen. Correct. Could be even more. Thank God for these cameras. Barbara, much more to come. I'm, I don't even want to end the... I, I got to end the podcast right now. I'm done, but I don't even want to be... I don't want to get off. This is bothering the hell out of me. I need to edit this footage. I got to clean it up. I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Are you guys going to be here for the podcast tomorrow or no? Let me know in the, in the comments. To, I, I mean, if you favorite the page, you'll be the first one here. I tell you that. Favorite the page. And make sure you go to Chronicle and hit that favorite. So you go to my page here. Go to my page. You hit these buttons. It says, Fred, you click the following and put favorites. You'll be the first one here. Ruben said, what time? Uh, the afternoon, late afternoon, late afternoon, e um, um, uh, Eastern time. Yep, give me a time, boo. <laughs> Jennifer, possibly. Um, uh, around Probably around 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's what we're going to, uh, we're going to do Chronicle. Perfect, late afternoon. Yes, Lisa, correct. Guys, do not be afraid to go into my DMs and contact me. I'm, I'm there. I do have a lot, but con it's okay. Send me anything you like. I'll be up in them DMs. Look at the pictures of Annalise's mom. You can see the black truck in the... The picture of... Can, can you send me that picture, Scott? Can you send it to me? Did you send it to me? The black truck? I, 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 is, that a, is that another photo? I'm going to have to look into that. I'm going to have to look into that. All right, guys. So tomorrow I will be on. Uh, look out for the afternoon. You don't want to miss it, especially live. You don't want to miss it live. You, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna miss out. All right? I love you guys very much. My supporters, if you're wearing that green badge, you're going to get the first incoming news immediately posted in a support. How about this? I'm going to make a supporters. I'm going to make a post right now. 
tell me what you think of the case. All clues post in comments. I, I'm making a post for supporters right now. Subscribers right there. Tell, I'm going to post this right now. We're going to talk about it right, right after I end the podcast. If you have a green badge, you're already subscribed. If you don't, subscribe, join the family. We all talk about it. It's a secret group full of nothing but crime talkers, all right? Um, you're going to get the latest videos, information, and everything else in that group. We're all going to talk about it together. Get involved. Join the family. Let's talk about it. Until then, guys, I'll see you on the next one.